Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We are now in lesson 4, conversion functions and conditional expression part 2. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to use the to date function and understand the nesting function. Character to date function is to convert character string to a date format by using to date character string as the first argument and format model as the second argument. The format model that we will be using is the same as the date format element. In to date function, the fx modifier is very important. fx means format exact. It is a modifier to specify exact matching for the character argument and the date format model. Punctuation and quoted text in the character argument must match the corresponding parts of the format model exactly. Without fx, the Oracle server ignores extra blanks. Let's take a look on the implementation. Having fx modifier is very important if you want to change from character to become a date. Let's take a look at the example if we don't specify the fx modifier. So let's take a look. Select to date 1, 2, 3 to yy. Why, why? Take a look, this is 3 digit and this is, we have to spe specify 4 digits. It can be executed later. Then to date, 2020, we have extra spaces here. But in our format model, we have only one space between YYY and MON. It also can be executed. Then to date, 2020 slash December. But the format model that we want is dash. It still can be executed. But the result might not be the correct one. Let's take a look at the example. Okay, at the, sorry, at the result. Take a look. It will take 0, 1, 2, 3 instead of 1, 2, 3 here because we have the extra 0 here because we don't have the fx modifier. Then that's what your Oracle server will take. Same goes with this one. Uh, it, will, it will follow exactly the format of your dd, dd, uh, dd mon, yy, yy. Same goes with this one. The slash will become the dash straight away however if we specify the fx if we specify the, F, the fx the two date one two three y y y y cannot be executed let's try see the error is numeric value does not match the length of the format item because why our format model we want the exact to be y y y y but we only specify y y y so what if i add another value four over here now it is yy, yy, then it can be executed. Means we will we need to specify the exact uh, match model that we specify inside the format model. Same goes with this one. We want the exact match of y, 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 y only one space of month. But we have a lot of spaces here, isn't it? Just now we can execute. However, if we specify the fx, fx here, it cannot be executed anymore not a valid one because we have a lot of spaces now we just let it become one space then it will become correct because it is exactly the same as the format model that we specify here same goes with this one we want 2020 slash december okay but now here the format model must be dash so if you execute it will also be wrong why because we specify the dash our character here also must follow the dash then it can be executed. That's why the fx modifier is very important to specify the exact format model that we want in our to date conversion. Let's take a look at the implementation of uh, date conversion. So, if you take a look here, we want to find all employees that were hired before 21st April 2004. If we execute this one, we get the result. Even though we don't we don't do any conversion of this uh, character to become a date. Why? Because of we know what is the default date format. But what if I put 04 here? It is a default date format, isn't it? It is a DD MM YY YY. Still, it is still valid. However, but if we want to search this one, we cannot get the result because why? If we take a look in our employees table. The format of uh, of our date will be dd, mon, yy, yy. 
But maybe as a user, we don't know what is the exact format in our database. So how can we sh make sure that we can use this date but get the answer? So this is where the to date coming from. To date, we convert this character to become a date with the format model. So what is the format model of this one? DD dash MM dash YY YY. Okay, so if you execute this one now, we want to make sure that we have the fx so that it will follow, this one will follow the exact match of this uh, format model. So if we execute now, we can get the result. See, we get all the employees that were hired in, uh, that were hired before 21st April 2004. Because as I said, sometimes we don't know what is the format of date being stored in the database. So the to date function is very important to convert this character to become a date by using this exact format model. All date data should now be stored using 4 digit year YY, YY. However, some legacy databases may still use a 2 digit format YY. Let's take a look on the example. Let's say we are in 1995 now. It is in 20th century. Based on the format table below, 95 is placed for second row. Now let's take a look at our specified date. The value is 95. It is in 20th century also, and 95 is included for second column. The intersection for the format table is the written date is in current century. Means if you use RR or if you use YY, it still gives you 1995 and not 2095. Now, let's take a look at another example. Based on current year, we are now in 2015. Means, we are in 21st century. Based on the table format, 2015 is in the first row. Now, let's take a look at specified date. It is 95. 95 is actually on the second column. The intersection says, the written date is in the century before, which is 1995. Hence, if we want to find 1995, we should use RR format. But if we want to get 2095, we can use the YY date format. To summarize, if current year and specified year is in the same century, we can use YY or RR without any problem. But if current year and specified year is in different century, we need to use RR. Let's take a look on the implementation. Sometimes in the old system, we can have the format of date uh, of our date would be DD M O N Y Y two digit of year, or sometimes we use DD M O N R R. So when can we use Y Y or when can we use RR during our conversion of the date? Let's take a look. Select to date 30th August 99 to become FX exact model of DD MON YY. So if you take a look, this 1999 is either can be 30th August 1999 or 30th August 2099 because both are valid, isn't it? So if we execute this one, the date that we get is 30th August 2099. Why? Because here, the format model that we use is YY. But what if we change to become RR? Then we will get 30th August 1999. To get the value of 1999 is much more reasonable compared to 2099 from our current year now. So, how can we know when to use the RR or when to use the YY is based on the current century or previous or next century. So if you take a look, right now we are in 21st century. If we want to find data that is coming inside this century, inside this century is uh, from 2001 up until 2099 here. So we can use YY or RR without any problem. So if you use YY, we can get 2099. Okay, but if you want to find something that is in different century, for example, right now we are in 21st century, but we want to get data from 20th century. This one, we cannot use YY. 
it has to be RR here because we want the data that, that is coming from different century than our current century. Then if we execute this one, then we will get 30th August 1999. So please be careful if you are using the two digit year. That's why right now we are moving to four digit years as the default date format. Single row functions can be nested to any level. Nested functions are evaluated from the deepest level to the least deep level. So if we have F3, F2 and F1 here, F1 will be executed first followed by F2 followed by F3. Let's take a look on the implementation. Suppose we have this SQL, select last name, upper, concat substring last name 152 underscore my from employees where last name equal to greenberg if you take a look we have a nested function here a function in a function we have substring concat and upper of course substring will be done first the deepest level followed by concat then followed by upper so if we execute this sql we cannot see the intermediate result we get the final result straight away which is green underscore my then actually how your orchestra server will execute will be it will start with the substring last name 15 take a look here select last name substring last name 15 where last name equals to greenberg so if we execute this one the result that we get is green okay one two three four five so that's why we get only this green now this result this green will be concat with uh, my underscore my so by that we have green here uh, concat with underscore my so let's execute this one what we will get this result green my so now this result will be uh, we need to do upper okay the last the last function that we use here upper so now if we upper this green my then what we will get green my so this is actually the steps that why your oracle server will do however we cannot see the intermediate result if we have this nested function we straight away get the final result green my however this is the steps on how your oracle server process the functions that's all for now see you again in the next part thank you